incident briefing is intended to provide you information of an officer-involved shooting that occurred in Gazelle Meadows Park in the city of Chandler. This happened in Chandler. On the evening of January 2nd, 2021. You're about to view pictures, audio footage, and video footage related to the case, so this you have a better understanding of what occurred. A bad based one, on guys. What we know I believe. Right now. The video captured is part of an ongoing investigation. The investigation has identified the suspect to be Anthony Cano, a 17-year-old Chandler resident. A word of caution: this video contains graphic images, which could be dist. This is an officer-involved shooting that happened in Chandler. Um, it just drives me crazy about this one. The kid is shot in the back. He's in critical condition in the hospital. Haven't heard any anything else about it. But uh, I wanted to bring this to you guys and let you come to your own conclusion. My conclusion is... This is a killer officer that needs to be off the force. Some people, viewer discretion is advised. On January 2nd, 2021, around 9.20 p.m., a Chandler police officer was driving a fully marked police vehicle near the area of Nevada Street and Erie Street when the officer observed Kano riding a bicycle with no front headlight in the street. As the officer continued to drive, Kano was seen riding deliberately across both lanes of traffic. The body-worn camera video begins as the officer turns on the emergency lights of the police vehicle to stop Kano. Did you call up the bike traffic? Go ahead. Green, Nevada. He's failing to yield. Copy. Strobe, 10 3 4 3 call 11 Bike stop, Nevada, in Erie. Failed to yield. Kano refused to stop and fled from the officer on the bicycle. Or north from Erie along the tracks. Kano is seen fleeing from the officer on a dirt road. As Kano approached an empty canal, he abandoned the bicycle and ran from the officer towards Gazelle Meadows Park. He's, feel, uh, he's fleeing on foot. The officer followed Kano on foot through the park. While Kano was running from the officer, Kano's gun fell to the ground. As Kano stopped to retrieve his gun, the officer drew his duty weapon. The image on the left shows a still frame from the officer's body-worn camera of Kano holding a gun just before the officer fired his duty weapon. The image on the right shows a close-up picture of Kano's gun. The officer remained with Kano and rendered medical aid until fire department personnel arrived. Kano was transported to the hospital in critical condition. The officer involved in this incident has five years of service with the Chandler Police Department. The officer has been placed on administrative leave as per standard practice. This incident is the subject of both an internal and criminal investigation, which will be reviewed by the Maricopa County Attorney's Office. Upon completion, this investigation will be reviewed by an external citizens panel comprised of community members, as is standard practice in all use of force reviews. Conclusions about whether the actions of the officer were consistent with case law, department policy, and best practices in policing will not be made until all the facts are known and the investigation is completed. This video... This video, I mean, it, he shot a 17 year old in the back twice. And uh, the kid dropped his weapon, turned around to retrieve the weapon. He was picking the weapon up off the ground when the officer shot him in the back. Um, no orders of drop the weapon. Nothing. Um, maybe the officer felt that he was going to turn around and shoot the weapon, which is very possible. However, he was shot in the back. This, because it's Maricopa that's uh, reviewing the case, because there was a weapon there, and the kid had his hand on the weapon, it'll be a justified shoot. Uh, but in my opinion, this officer is a killer cop. And I believe I know who he is uh, with the beard, the full beard and mustache. 
I'm pretty sure I know who this is. And um, when I'm in Chandler, I will, uh, of course, he's on administrative leave. I will look for him and uh, see if he's willing to give Spit and Cobra an interview, which I doubt. So uh, I just wanted to bring this to you, let you come to your own conclusions. To me, it, this, this is a little bit hinky. Spitting Cobra, keeping it real.